This week, a court has found that Health Secretary Matt Hancock acted illegally when he failed to disclose the details of the contracts awarded during the coronavirus pandemic. Astonishingly, when asked whether Hancock should resign, Keir Starmer refused, believing that's not what the public wants. Is Keir Starmer completely useless? A government minister has broken the law. You are director of public prosecutions. To quote war criminal Tony Blair, this is weak, weak, weak. I'm also quite surprised that he thinks the public don't want resignations. How do you know that, Keir? You know, you shouldn't base your political moves on focus groups, but on what should be the right thing to do. Starmer has also ruled out the decriminalisation of cannabis. In his interview with Sophie Ridge, he claims it causes issues to vulnerable people across the country. Keir, the question wasn't to legalise weed. It's to make sure that those vulnerable people are not met with harsh punishment. And in fact, we should treat drugs as a health issue. And I see what you're doing here, and you're not going to win the socially conservative vote. Then there's the experts who just don't agree with you, including LEAP, an organisation that includes ex-police chiefs, ex-undercover detectives, former MI5 officers and military personnel. This is what they tweeted in to response to Keir Starmer. This is the state of our so-called political leaders on drugs policy. We expect government to advocate for the status quo, but when Keir Starmer, with a background in criminal justice, cannot manage a single new idea, it demonstrates a complete absence of leadership. People are looking for an opposition, not for a leader to sack a shadow cabinet member for a tweet, only to then handle the government with kid gloves. And recently, Keir Starmer tried to reboot his leadership. He set out a speech with an outline of his vision ahead of 2021 budget. His approach was apparently inspired by the same spirit as the 1945 Labour government, which built the welfare state, oversaw decolonisation and nationalised swaths of industry. The problem with that, though, is that you need those left policies to be anything close to that of Clement Attlee. But you abandoned your 10 key pledges as soon as you became leader. What we've really got was a policyless platitude Bonanza. It's also been three months when Jeremy Corbyn's whip was removed and you promised to look at it again. All I hear is crickets. Despite all of this, the courting of the media, the cautious long game of ceasing to be in opposition, his poll raisins haven't exactly been encouraging, still flagging behind the Tories with voting tensions. However, what's worse is his personal ratings, which has dramatically fallen, including one recent poll with a drop of 10 points among 2019 Labour voters. It looks like your leadership is failing. You're not convinced of voters, and there's grumbling among the Labour rights, to which you've desperately tried to please. So what do you think? Do you disagree? Do you think Keir Starmer's doing a great job? Then make sure you leave a comment and open up a discussion. If you want more content like this, then please like and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe to Turn Left for more independent media.